What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you the best in-game settings for Helldivers 2 to improve your gameplay experience, increase your frame rate while keeping a good visual quality. Access your in-game settings while playing Helldivers 2. I will quickly address some gameplay and display settings before diving into the graphic settings for the game. In the gameplay section, you have the option to disable crossplay. This might seem counterintuitive, but disabling this option has helped some players fix network-related errors and server issues in the game. Set the options below to your liking. And I prefer to disable the Window Notifications and Allow Data Collection options. In the Display section, you can readjust your screen brightness in case you previously set this option too bright or too dark. The same applies to your User Interface Brightness option below. Next, make sure High Dynamic Range is disabled. I prefer to keep the Camera Shake Strength option at Weak or even disable it. The Vertical Field of View option will come down to personal preference, but as I prefer to see more of the game world, I like to increase this option to around 75, which will allow for a wider view around the player, especially with an ultra-wide monitor. Set the graphics device to your main graphics card and not your processor. Below, set the Screen Device option to your main monitor and set the Resolution option to your preferred in-game resolution. It's important to note that if you like to reduce your resolution a bit to fix lag or stuttering, then the visual quality might suffer a lot. That's why I prefer to play in windowed mode, even if it potentially lowers the performance a bit. This performance loss makes up for the increase in performance due to the lowered resolution. Below, set the render scale to balanced if you notice performance issues when playing Helldivers 2. Feel free to increase these display settings and playing in full screen mode if you have more performance to spare. Enable the frame rate limit option and set it to your display's refresh rate or even a bit higher. My screen is running at 120Hz, so I will set the FPS cap to around 130. Lastly, disable VSync and apply your changes before making sure these settings work for you visually. We will then head to the graphics section of your settings. Here, use a custom graphics preset. Below, I prefer to lower the motion blur intensity to around 50%. This will also come down to your personal preference, but most players usually prefer to lower this option a bit. The default bloom and sharpness options work well for me personally, but some users running the game at a lower resolution might prefer to disable bloom entirely. Next, let's tackle the quality settings below. I will set these for a low to mid-end PC while trying to keep a pleasing visual quality. Set the texture quality option to medium, object detail quality to high, render distance to high as you want to be able to see far in the game. Set the shadow quality to lowest, particle, reflection and space quality options to low as these are not essential for your gameplay. Set the ambient occlusion and screen space global illumination options to off vegetation and rubble density to high, terrain quality to high, volumetric fog and cloud quality to low, set the lighting quality to medium and disable anti-aliasing for now. If you notice a lot of screen tearing, then you might want to enable anti-aliasing, but it might lower your overall frame rate. Make sure to apply your changes and test your new graphic settings in-game. You can set the audio, HUD and accessibility options to your personal preference. This tutorial and additional information will be updated in our extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.